Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Chandra Shayman, your English language trainer. In this class, you are going to learn uh, a coordinating conjunction that is not only but also. It can also be called pair conjunction, coordinating conjunction. And this conjunction is used in the uh, compound sentence. And not only but also, we must understand its uh, meaning. And it is used in the compound sentence and it is called as a coordinating conjunctions. And let me explain you the meaning with an example. Uh, he is not only an actor but also a director. In this sentence, not only but also, when we, when we talk about uh, two uh, different things, we can use this word not only but also. But we give little emphasis for the second thing. And when we are using this conjunction, we must use uh, different parts of speech such as uh, noun, adjective, verb, adverb. If you are using noun in the first part, first thing, in the second thing also you must use noun only. But you should not change the parts of speech. For example, uh, first if you are using uh, adjective and you should not use noun there. So this is very very important uh, grammar point. And it can also be replaced with as well as. He is not only an actor but also a, a director. It can be replaced with he is an actor as well as a director. And in the compound sentence, we use it and it is called coordinating conjunctions. Let me give you a few more examples. Uh, she is not only beautiful but also intelligent. In this sentence, I have used uh, two adjectives beautiful and intelligent and we can also use uh, this not only but also in the front position mid position at the uh, end of the sentence wherever we use uh, we should not change the parts of speech and when you are asked uh, to change this from uh, compound to complex uh, we use this uh, conjunction uh, as well as so not only but also can be replaced with as well as and sometimes you are asked to change from as well as to uh, another part means you can use uh, not only but also. Uh, this is uh, an important uh, word and you can use this uh, conjunction after understanding the meaning and uh, this can also be called uh, pair conjunction. Not only but also. You must not use any other word after not only. You must use only but also. And we give little uh, uh, emphasis, extra emphasis for the second part. And we can use uh, the different parts of speeches like noun, adjective, verb, adverb. And um, uh, we can give a lot of examples like this. And you have to understand this. And you can use it. Uh, we use it in both uh, written form and spoken form. Especially in uh, uh, transformation of sentences, simple compound complex, we have this topic. I hope that you have understood and thank you so much for watching my video.